What's going on everybody and welcome back. Happy Easter. Gonna be bringing a nice delicious flounder franchise recipe here. Nice Chardonnay lemon butter sauce, top of some jumbo lump crab meat, and some spinach. Just for the ingredients I have two fillets of flounder, wild caught of course, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper. Gonna be using a little bit of white wine. I have some diced shallots, a little bit of butter. Going in with some lemon juice, I have chicken stock minced garlic, spinach, egg, flour. Let's go ahead and season up those fillets, some sea salt and the pepper. I'm gonna go hit it with that granulated garlic powder and onion powder. You don't have to go too crazy with the seasonings here. Just a nice little, little coating. Go ahead and hit the other side with the same exact thing. The sauce is really gonna pack a lot of flavor. That's kind of where the true flavor of this dish lies in, so you don't have to go too heavy here. Go ahead and coat both sides just like that. Now we're gonna dip it into that flour. Of course, the flour is also seasoned with pretty much that all-purpose seasoning I just used right there. And we're gonna dredge it right into that egg. Do the same thing for the other one. Looking beautiful. And go ahead and just set that aside for a quick second. We're gonna get our pan nice and hot with some olive oil. And we're just gonna lay those fillets down, of course laying away from you. with the other one give these about not too long probably about four minutes each side just want to get a nice golden brown color those are cooking up real nicely right there I managed to go ahead and flip this without breaking it all the way go ahead and flip that other one right there Man, those are looking good already. These do not take long at all to cook. You definitely don't want to overcook it. After a few minutes on that side too, we're just gonna go ahead and place them on the side to just sit for a quick second. Beautiful golden brown color, exactly what we're looking for. Now, real quick, we're gonna go ahead and start our spinach. Go ahead, same thing, pan nice and hot with some olive oil. We're gonna throw those diced shallots in. Real good like that, not too long, just sweat them out real quick. Gonna give that spinach some real, real nice flavor. And go ahead and just toss in some of that garlic. Sometimes people like to use the shallots and garlic in their uh, sauce for the franchise. Personally, I don't just because they are very strong and very fragrant. They kind of throw it off. Shouldn't be much more going into it than what you're about to see in a second. So now let's go ahead and just throw that spinach in there. I know it looks like a lot, but if you know, once you cook spinach, it really shrivels up. It looks like nothing. So give these a quick toss just so them shallots and the garlic don't burn on the bottom there. And that's good for me. Don't overcook your spinach either. That's perfect right there. Go ahead, take it out the pan and just set it aside. Looking good just like that. Now, for the final part, let's go ahead and start on that sauce that I talked about earlier. Dropping a little bit of olive oil in there. And I'm gonna throw in one tablespoon of butter. And we are just gonna completely melt this down all the way. Just like that. 
course that olive oil keeps it from burning and we're just going to go ahead and throw in our wine now all the measurements for the ingredients are down at the bottom in the description and of course you already know I gotta get me a little sip happy Easter go ahead and mix that around bring it up to a slight little simmer like that hey we're gonna go ahead and drop that lemon juice in there now bring that back up to temperature too Again, you're seeing it start to simmer here. Let's go ahead and throw that stock in there. I'm only going to use about a little bit of that. I couldn't find my one fourth cup, so I just did half of my half a cup. Give it a nice old mix, bring everything together. Almost done here. We're gonna throw in the last three tablespoons of that butter. And we're gonna throw in that jumbo lump crab. You can add as much crab as you like to this. You don't have to add crab at all. You don't wanna add too much though, because you don't, you know, the star of the show is the flounder. This is just a nice addition to the to the dish like that go ahead make sure you take the pan off the heat here again we're not breaking that butter nice melted down the heat is off here just gonna add some salt I'm going in with some uh, white ground pepper here I don't really want the black pepper to kind of show and of course we're gonna throw in that Italian parsley that we chopped up earlier add some nice aromas to the dish let's go ahead and plate this bad boy up Starting off with our spinach on the bottom, that's gonna be our base. Spinach just tastes excellent with this sauce. And if you're not a fish person, you can do this with chicken. Chicken franchise tastes, tastes just as good, trust me. I've done it plenty of times. Do the exact same thing, exact same way, just use a chicken breast. And for the last part, let's go ahead and throw on that sauce with that jumbo lump crab. God, this is looking so good. Beautiful right here. Throw on two lemons just for presentation. And there we go. Had to change my shirt now. I didn't want to cook with this shirt on. Put on a pink shirt, a little more festive for Easter. Let me go in, get a little piece of everything, a little bit of spinach, flounder, the sauce, and some crab. Oh my God. This pairs very, very well with some nice white wine. I'm gonna go ahead and use some of that Chardonnay that I used to cook with too. Why not? Don't let it go to waste. Thank you everybody. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share.